Brett Lawrence from Mountain News and Views doing another update on the county and Adria Ross and her property. This is her property. She bought it. It's private. But a county inspector showed up unannounced today and told her that this trailer has to go, all these trailers have to go, can't have a sea container, can't have anything. So I met with her and here's what she had to say. I sold my condo, you know, to come here to, to try to make this dream happen. So. The American dream. Yeah. I mean, more than that, the American dream, of course, is, you know, the white picket fence and having a home and, you know, raising a family. You know, I, I actually wanted to build something that would give back to the community and, and build the community and. Um, you know, ha have a, a center for learning and creativity and um, innovation, and, you know, things like that. So, but, you know, you can't do that, I guess. So what happened? Um, just a regular, normal morning and uh, getting ready for somebody to come by and waiting for him out in the front. And I see a county SUV pull in. And uh, it's the code enforcer. And uh, we end up having about an hour long conversation. Um, apparently I'm gonna be receiving a bunch of violations and have to remove everything off my property pretty much. Okay, <clears throat> like what? All, any trailers, any sea containers, any vehicles, pretty much anything. Sea containers, why? Uh, anything over 120 square feet requires a permit. Where does it say that? Building codes, I guess, I don't know. Well, I just looked at the code and it's, and number two is um, private property Less than two acres, you can't have one. You can have a sea container, but it can't be visual from a public roadway. Hmm. Yours are not visible from the pu public roadway. I, I know, because I just stopped and drove around mm -hmm. and took video. It doesn't clarify how many acres you have to have to have the uh, sea containers. But it does state that you can't see it from any public road or any public easement. Hmm. Is that an issue for you? Yeah. Can you see it? No, you can't really see anything from the street. Um, anything on this property you can't really see from the street. And you can't park a trailer here? No. Uh, I told him nobody's yeah. living in them. Um, one of them is a wood shop. One of them is my craft shop. One of them is my office. Um, so it's not like there's a bunch of people living here in them. Uh, he just kept saying, well, that's the code, that's the code, that's the code, that's the code. You are not happy today. It's been a rough morning. And you lost out on some money because you had a client set up for whatever reason. Yeah. And this guy shows up at the same time. Yeah, it just so happened, yeah. So you're out how much money? Uh, that's a hundred bucks for okay a hundred bucks for the morning and at the end what did the code enforcement officer say sorry <laughs> uh yeah i mean i i asked him you know quite a lot of questions it, it doesn't make sense to me I, I feel like we can have sensible you know sensible safety regulations without you know, regulating us to death, um, because no, no, just regular person can can build anything or have property or make anything creative or you know, if it's all got to be the code, it's like, wh where does that leave room for building something special? You know, trying to 
trying to make something grassroots or where the American dream, you know, where does it leave room for that? And it's private property. It's private property. Yep. Do you feel like your rights are being being violated by the government? Yeah, I do. I do. Very much so. So what's next? That's a good question. Um, I don't think it's in my DNA to just lay down and take it. Um, I do come from uh, a family of Holocaust survivors. And, you know, that's kind of what their idea was in, 19, in the 1930s, sort of go along to get along. And uh, we all know where that got them. So, you know, when they take your rights, it's not like right away. It's, it's incremental, you know, it's slowly, 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 chipping away, chipping away, chipping away until you turn around and go, what happened? So do you think it's time to get a consortium together in the community, sit them down and talk to them and say, this is what's going on with me. It could be going on with you. I think that we all know that it's gotten out of hand. And, and since this whole debacle has started, I've heard a lot of stories from people where the county has come in and, and done crazy stuff uh, and, and, in my opinion, violated people's rights to, to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness uh, in, in, in the name of safety. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think that if we don't do it now, you know, we're not going to get a chance. So in my next update, I will uh, follow up on what the county inspector who came out here has to say and try and figure out some of these code violations that he claims that he's going to send her. He didn't leave her any paperwork. And uh, we'll go from there. But for now, Red Lawrence, Mountain News and Views.